my name is Martin Garland. Um, I work at Astrium uh, in the Central Engineering and Mechanisms. Um, my day-to-day -day job involves making robots. Um, this is 50% of my time. Uh, the other 50% is uh, writing documents and technical notes uh, for mechanisms. Uh, and I really enjoy it. When I was quite young, in year seven, um, I entered a uh, young engineers competition. Um, it was um, something that I got into thanks to um, teachers who took me for CDT, Craft Design Technology, uh, Mr. King. And um, it was uh, for an invention, whatever you wanted to invent. I wanted to make a, uh, a hovering car, <laughs> which is quite ambitious, uh, year seven. Uh, but nevertheless, um, he, he spurred me on and uh, helped me do it, really. And uh, we had this four sort of propeller balsa wood craft sort of levitating for a bit and then falling over. But um, that, for me, uh, showed me that perhaps I could, um, could do the, my ideas and, uh, yeah, could do the ambitious stuff. And uh, I've not really looked back since. I went to Staffordshire University. Um, I chose to do uh, design technology for robotics uh, and I met um, a, a chap called Sam Wayne who was my lecturer for most of the year for the robotics side. Um, in my first year we played with Lego uh, essentially but uh, we, we programmed Lego to do a task and it progressed on to further sort of, uh, projects such as a, a robot arm, program on a robot arm. Um, and it led on to um, a final year projects which we were allowed to choose uh, manufacture ourselves and uh, by November I had manufactured this, uh, this walking robot and had, had, had it walking around um, which was great timing because um, at that point I was starting to think about my future career and what I might want to do after university. Um, a chap called uh, Chris Wayman he, uh, he said um, he, I think he saw um, something in me that I didn't see myself to be quite ambitious um, and I don't think I would have gone to the careers fair and spoken to companies like Astrium uh, if it wasn't for him. It wasn't long before um, there was a rumour uh, going around that there was a chat with a, a robot and companies were trying to talk to me at this fair. I noticed the Astrium stand because there was a, it was quite a small model, but it was a model of a, a Mars rover and at this point, I didn't quite know where, where exactly my robots would fit into industry and where my sort of creative spark would be kept entertained, if you like. Um, I saw this rover and I thought, God, oh, I wonder if I could make one of those. And I remember what Chris said, aim high. So I, I went over to the stand. I talked to them. They were very friendly. I um, showed them the robot walking around. And they said, uh, yeah, apply online and um, we'd like to see you in the, in the recruitment days. And, uh, and that's where I met Andrew Gibson, who, um, who I think saw something in me and obviously saw my passion for robots and, and took me on, so I'm grateful to him. My mum and dad met in Dubai, which is where I was born. Uh, my dad works on oil rigs um, as an engineer and my mum is a nurse. My dad didn't go to university. He's got to the position he is now um, just by experience and, uh, and putting his best into every job. My mum, however, she, she went to university. Um, she's quite linguistic. Um, and yeah, I suppose there were expectations from her for me to go to university. But she always said it was up to me and she'd always support whatever I did. So mm -hmm. I thank her for that, really. 